<laughs> Even though having too much time in your hands, I have something I know these people are going to love. Are you going to set yourself on fire? No, because that's what everybody wants. And everybody wants a crackling you or other one. <laughs> no, it's these. I just got them in the mail. What are they? They're boxes. What did they come in? A box. Am I the only one who thinks that's weird? <laughs> what do you do with these boxes that came in a box? Okay, I'm still trying to figure that part out. You see, I have my other practice boxes right yeah, here. You've already got like six of them up here yeah, on stage. Okay, but these are Juggle Co boxes. Oh, juggle Co? Juggle Co. They're top of the line, but harder to use. They did come with instructions, so the thing is, I can't read the instructions and do them at the same time. So I was hoping you'd help. I'll have you read the instructions, I'll do the tricks. Be honest. You're illiterate, aren't you? <laughs> No, no, no. Seriously, because this is like turning into one of those Hallmark holiday movies. <laughs> if you can't read, how will we save the Christmas tree farm? <laughs> it's like Sandra and Jenny McCarthy to figure it out. <laughs> over there and read <laughs> Congratulations on your purchase of Jungle Co.'s newest product. To use your boxes, you need only two things, an open space and a complete and utter lack of social skills. <laughs> <laughs> say that. And actually, it does. <laughs> They know their target demographic. <laughs> Place your boxes in a line on the ground so that the red box is on your left, the green box is on your right, and the yellow box is in the middle. Next, grasp the red and green boxes and apply pressure inward on the yellow box so that you can lift the three boxes as a single unit. Wow, you're holding boxes for three. Awesome. It gets better. It is better, it gets better. <laughs> Next. Bring the boxes upwards towards your chest while quickly releasing the green box and using the free hand to grab the yellow box at the peak of the movement. Then quickly rotate the yellow box under the flying green box so the yellow box replaces the green box in the space it once occupied. Then bring the yellow and red boxes together and press the green box as it falls. If you have done this correctly, the green box will be in the middle. surprised how many people were following all that. <laughs> yep. It's Minnesota. It's an entire state of people who were born to be auditors. <laughs> That's where you drew the line. I'm threatening to kill these guys all night long. Call me an auditor. <laughs> Ready. With a rapid upward motion, release one box, rotate the boxes, and box the boxes as a box of boxes. Then switching the end boxes lengthwise, rotate them counterclockwise, then clockwise in a cantilever motion. And finally, finish! <laughs> if you have done this correctly, the green box will be in the middle. <laughs> It is stupid. Anybody can do that. Oh, if anybody can do it, let's see you do it. I have my practice boxes right there. I can do this at least as well as you can. Okay, let's see. You come out here, grab my boxes. All right, I'll do a trick. We'll have you follow along. I'll start off easy, and then I'll make them progressively more difficult. Fine. <laughs> I'm you! <laughs>
variation. You were only able to get one box. <laughs> I did twice as many, I had two boxes. So I was trying to, you know, like, you know, stretch the envelope and you know, think outside the box, basically. Yay, yeah, you're more unskilled. Uh, uh, no, don't, don't even pick them up. Just put them back in. There's not a chance you're going to be able to do this next trick. Right, this, this box is going to stay together in this one.